Hey foodies, welcome to Cooking Shooking. Today let's make some butterscotch sauce. Many of you have requested for it. So let us start making it. One of the most easiest recipe for you all. So we're going to start off by heating up a saucepan. To the saucepan, we're going to add in 200 grams of sugar. So we're going to continuously stir it and we're going to melt it and we're going to caramelize this. So once you see the sugar is getting like this consistency, keep on stirring it regularly and be with it. Don't heat it up and go away. This butterscotch sauce flavor and the strongness is completely upon how much you cook this caramel. So cook it as per your preference. I am to just cook this until it's all melted really well. So the caramel is all ready. All the sugar is melted and the caramel is golden in color. All perfect. So I am to switch off the flame and then I am to add in the butter. 60 grams of butter. As well as the salt. We are going to stir this. This is going to froth up so be careful. So now here I have a mixture of milk and cream. This is 200 milliliters of cream and 100 milliliters of milk. Now I am to switch on the flame. I am going to continuously stir this. And I'm going to keep on adding this milk and cream. Keep on stirring it. If there are any lumps, these are all going to dissolve and adding the cream a little at a time. If there are any lumps of this caramel, don't worry, this is all going to melt as you are stirring this and heating this. I am making this butterscotch sauce with white sugar, you can also make this with brown sugar. Sometimes the brown sugar gives it an extra strong flavor. I don't like that. So that is the reason behind me using this white sugar. Usually butterscotch sauce is made with brown sugar. So all the lumps are dissolved and this is looking all good. So I have kept the little bit of the milk and cream mixture. So I'm going to add it now. After this is all dissolved and all good. Because you do not want your sauce to be extra thick. So now just mix it and look at that color, awesome. So we're going to get this to a simmer and then we're going to switch off the flame. So we're going to wait for the sauce to get to room temperature after that we're going to use it. After the sauce cools down the butterscotch sauce is all ready for you to use it over your ice cream milkshake, cakes or whatever you wish for and the freshness and the flavor really pops out that's the goodness of making stuff at home so make sure you try this and let me know how does this go for you I would literally want some more of my sauce over the ice cream if I was there The flavor really pops out and truly is sensational so make sure you try this. You can find the detailed text recipe on our website cookingsugar.in. Butterscotch sauce is usually made with brown sugar. I like to make it with white sugar. Be sure to read more about the sauce in our website cookingsugar.in. 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग डू सब्सक्राइब इट्स फ्री बाय